I want you to imagine that our community is living in the clouds above a planet. The planet is green and fertile. It has all the resources we need to live a bountiful and productive life. Lakes and rivers teeming with fish, forests and grasslands, mountains and oceans. At the moment, no people live on the planet. Our community is going to move down from the clouds and create a new life there. Before we go down to the planet, we're meeting to decide the basic rules that will govern our existence and the way that we live together. Whilst we're up in the clouds, we're all physically and mentally perfect. We're all the same shiny, glittery beings, identical in every way. We don't need to eat, we don't feel the cold or heat, so we don't need anywhere to live other than in the clouds. We don't need money and we don't need to work. It might sound idyllic, but actually it's rather boring, which is why we want to change. Once we go down to the planet, then we can be busy farming, fishing, keeping livestock, building houses, raising families. But there is a twist. Whilst we're in the clouds, we're all the same. When we go down to the planet, we will be different. Some of us will be men, others women. Some will be adults and others children. Some will be strong, others weak. Some will be rich, others poor. Some will be intelligent, others not. In fact, our community on the planet will reflect the rich diversity of human existence that we see on our own planet Earth. And here's the twist. We can't choose what we'll be like. When we go down to the planet, we might be male or female, a rich businessman or a beggar. So when we're devising the basic principles of justice by which our society will be governed, we need to bear this in mind.